Hello everyone, Oliver from Scholarcy here. In this short video, we're going to run through how to navigate the Scholarcy library. Let's jump in. When you open Scholarcy, you'll be met with the list of your different libraries. You can create new libraries by clicking the Create Library button found in the top right corner. Type what you'd like to name the library and then click Save to finish. You can sort your libraries with a variety of sorting options. The icons on each library will tell you how many articles you have saved, along with how many subfolders you can find inside. Use the three dots to delete or share a library. To share a library, just enter the email address of the recipient and click Add. Inside each folder, you'll find the import options to upload new articles. These include files from your computer, web links and DOIs, and cloud storage options. The list of articles you have saved will be found at the bottom of the screen, each article is automatically renamed to the correct title. You can choose which information is shown about the articles from the Columns button, and you can sort your list of articles using the option in the top right. The subfolders can be found above the article list. Open the Expanded view to see the saved folders. In the top right you'll find the options to create new folders, as well as the sorting options. The option to set up an RSS feed can be found at the top right corner of each folder. Click on Add RSS and then paste the URL to get started. You can choose the destination folder from the drop down menu. To retrieve your saved articles, click the search bar at the top of the screen. Refine your search parameters using the options found in the drop down menu. You can also search the web for new articles with Scholarcy's Open Alex integration. Just click the toggle to switch where you search. To head back to the main menu, click on the My Libraries button found on the left hand ribbon menu. From this menu, you can also find the Shared Libraries tab, which will contain libraries shared with you and your libraries that you've shared with others. Each of your libraries will also display how many people it has been shared with, which can be adjusted from the button labelled Manage. Also found on the left-hand ribbon menu is the Deleted Flashcards tab, the Favourites tab, and the Recent Flashcards tab. This is a great way of finding any articles you recently uploaded. You can adjust your personal information under the Profile tab, or you can customise your reading experience under the Settings tab. Why not adjust the default summary type to suit your preference? Last but not least, you can also find our Help Centre and our Support page if you need some more help using Scholarcy. So you now know how to navigate Scholarcy and you're one step closer to becoming a power user. Let us know how you get on in the comment section down below and thank you very much for watching.